Welcome my viewers, today I want us to do a continuation of what we've been doing on uh, objects but today I have a very special topic and this is about creating a cutting wrist for the objects that we have. We made a desk and uh, today I want us to make a cutting wrist of what we need and the quantity of boards that we may require. Welcome. Before you do any cutting lists, and this is just, I'm not using any special program, I'm only using ArchiCAD, and it will help us to lay out these things. You need to have the floor plan of the object that you have, a side view or a side derivation, so that you can be able to see the components that we need. Our desk will have several things. We have the top. We have the legs, we have the modesty as shown from this. I've already done this so that we don't waste time. We have modesty, we have drawer face, drawer sides and everything here. All it needs is for us to read this on a template so that we can be able to see how many boards we'll have. The arrows you see on my templates, I used to show the grain for the wood. As you know, most of the wood has grains, so you need to show where the grains are run to. Now, let's start. What I normally do is draw lines to represent the board. And our board is normally 8 feet by 4 feet, which translates to about 2440 by 1240 in terms of millimeters. Now, I'll be pressing each of these items onto this. And remember for our board, the grain runs like this. So we need to be aware of that. What I've done, like uh, the top view is well represented, it's 14 by 750. The regs, remember from our previous discussions, it had an offset from the sides. So it was the 750 minus the 3030, which is 60, and gives us 690. And then the height is 750 minus the top, which gives 725. So all of these calculations have taken into account all offsets. Let's get to our board. For you to see well, I normally like to represent with fill. So I'll come here, choose a nice fill, wood, let me do wood 45 degrees and do some cut off colors. Yeah, I think that is okay. Click okay. Now, our top has the same grain as the how the board is looking like and it's 14 by 750. So come here, start from the top, draw 1400 by 750. Come and copy this. That's the top. And remember, our main purpose here is to make better use of each board. So we make sure that you trace it as best as we can so that we don't have any wastage. Come to the legs. If I need to do the legs, I'll rotate because the grain goes to the other side. I'll need 725 by 690. Let's check this out so it can fit here. Come here again, do 725 by 690. That's one of the regs. Now look at your board kindly. See what best you can use or do so that you use it to the maximum. You can see we have 170 for the drawers. 
170. We have 170 for the drawers and 170 times 3 of them, which is as indicated, drawer face is 1, 2, 3, is 510. And from here, you can see we have 550. So I'm sure if I did 3 of them to the other side, I will be okay. Come here, do 394 by 170. Come here, check your fill, and do 394 by 170. 394 by 170. That's the draw face. Copy this and press it here. Remember, we have three of them. Copy two more. So drawers are sorted. Then let's check what else can work. The draw top and the draw bottom. You can see if we rotate, we will need 400. Let's check this out. That's 490, so very little wastage. So do 470 by 400. Fill again. 470 by 400. This is the draw top. Copy twice. And uh, this now becomes drawer bottom. Uh, for purposes of not confusing, let's delete what we've done. We've already done this. We already done with the top. Two, one leg. And then three drawer faces. Already done. Good. Three drawer faces. Now let's check what we can do more. We have these two parts, the drawer inside. Remember, in a drawer, if you did a cross section, let me delete this one so that you can be able to see. Drawers are like this. This is the drawer face. It has some struts that run like these sides and at the back. So I want us to do the small struts. So each drawer will have two side struts and one bottom or end strut and this is what i am calling the draw inside so each draw will have two of these so let's go do 4 that 4 by 8 5 4 that 4 let me draw it from here so that i can see 4 that 4 by 8 5 you can copy this each desk drawer, remember you'll have two of these. Let's reduce the size of the text. Copy this. Bring it here. That is per drawer face. So if you have three drawers, it means we have two by three, which makes it six. So let's do six copies. Those are three, two, two more. Control D, yes. Control D, can even have this one here. Okay, this part is done. That is for the sides. The back, I forgot to do it, but I know the size. The size will be 400 minus 36, so it's 364 by the same height of 85. So come here. That is more. Remember, this is draw inside, so this won't matter much whether it's rotated or not. So you can rotate.
and arrange them here. Each drawer will have one back. So multiply by three, three. So that's done. We are left with these ones. So make another board. Another board is 2440 by 1240. Let's first press the modesty. It's the long one. The modesty is 1304 by 525. Press it here. We have our leg. Let's copy this one. So these two are done. We come to the drawer sides. It's um, the size is just a minute. I take a measurement. Again, for purposes of rain, we'll need to do it from when it's rotated. So it's 525 to be. 525 by 470 and call this draw side draw sides will be two like indicated so copy this press it there bring the other one and our draw sides are done The drawer also has a back, the main back, the same size. Again, copy this. Draw back. McHugh, as I'm speaking, the boards that you are cutting right now, this is an 18 mm or what people call the three quarter board, MDF board. After you've pressed all these parts, remember the drawer, this part that people pull, the base is normally made of a different type of board. We can use a 6 mm board, it's different. Do another curation for the same board. You come to the full board, it's still 2440 by 1240. Sorry, before I forget, we removed this reg from here. This should be here so that we can see the amount of waste that we have. Each drawer will have a base. Each part that we pull has a base and that is 470. By 400. 2440 by 1240. That's it. Then we press 470 by 400. This is the draw base. Cut one because each draw has a piece and uh, you can see we've sorted every part of this desk we need to rearrange this so that we maximize can put all of this together almost close together like that then bring something that looks that can fit there And I think this is a better usage of the board so that if you are left with this part, let me show you the remnant, it can be used better. See, if you are left with that big part, you can use trace this for another thing. At the end of the day, whether you cut from what method or what, you'll need two 
18 mm MDF boards and one six mm MDF board. In some presses, you can get people cutting it into half for you. They can sell it in halves, but in most cases, you'll buy a full board. You'll be left with some offcuts to be used in another project. But in terms of raying them for better usage, I've found this to be a great method and it has always helped me. Thank you. Subscribe, share, and let's continue in another video. Thank you.